Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, I'm sorry that I've been a little behind on the videos as of late. There's just been a lot that's been going on in life. There is a lot of stuff, a lot of personal stuff, some good things, some bad things, but it kind of is just life and it kind of gets taken over, you know, sometimes when, unfortunately, YouTube is not my career, um, so I have other things that kind of take precedent over that, so um, sometimes YouTube foul, fouls, falls behind. But I plan on getting back into the swing and things because it is my favorite time of year and I'm super excited for holiday videos and I hope you guys are too. I have some really good ideas. I'm so excited. So that's not the point of this video. This video is all about a plus size fashion haul, which I know you guys love. They're my most popular videos by far. Um, so I decided to bring the people what they want. And we are going to do a Walmart plus size shopping haul. Now, when you hear the word Walmart, most people don't necessarily think of like cute on-trend clothes. But, they are a diamond in the rough, in the rough. And you can find some cute things. Now, I am not the biggest fan of Walmart. I've never really been the biggest fan of Walmart. I mush, mush, I cannot talk today. I much prefer Target. Um, and I think most people normally are like that, but Walmart is a bit more accessible, I think, and um, it's cheaper. But I just, I don't know, there's something about it depresses me. I don't like shopping in store. It just is like gray and blue and just dim and depressing. And I've had bad experiences there just with like the employees and customers. It's just not my favorite place. Target makes me feel warm and bright and Walmart just doesn't give you that feeling. But, you still can find a lot of good things, um, you just kind of have to search. Now, everything that I think I purchased in this haul, I did purchase online. That's not to say that you can't find the stuff in store, but there is some stuff that I think is only sold online. The good thing is, though, that everything is pretty much returnable to Walmart stores, and which I think is a bit easier if you don't want to ship things back. Um, normally people have a Walmart in their city or at least close to them, so it makes it a bit easier for you. The first things I want to talk about are bottoms and pants and leggings. So one of the biggest reasons I kind of went to Walmart was because I wanted some leggings. I love wearing leggings. I'm like the mom who wears leggings constantly. Pretty much 24-7 I'm wearing leggings. Um, I'm also, it's kind of like my job. I use them at work all the time. Um, so leggings are just... A staple for me and after having my daughter I'm still wearing my maternity leggings but my pre-mom leggings just were a bit too tight and uncomfortable so I just went to Walmart just to find a couple pairs just to kind of tide me over and I ended up discovering a gym so now these are the no boundaries ones are they no boundaries no they're faded glory um, these are I think they're actually considered straight sizes but I do believe they have the plus size ones but I've only gotten the straight size ones I want to say um, but these are the faded glory this is an XL um, these ones are 16 18 they definitely fit me a lot better than the um, next size up I prefer these ones the other ones are just a bit too baggy on me um, but there is a very good amount of stretch a nice give to them I just think they're really comfortable and they're under five dollars so you really can't go wrong are they like lululemon quality heck no but are they gonna work are they gonna be comfortable yes they're not like com you know they're not see-through you can bend over and I'm gonna see your tushy um, they're comfortable, they're inexpensive, they're light. I like them. I like them. And I, like I said, I do believe that they do have these also in considerable like plus sizes. Um, but I did just buy the straight size because they fit fine with that. So, if you're like the 1618 XL, if you're above that, try the XXL. Um, and then go on, you know, on from that. But anyway, like I said, love them, comfortable like my favorite thing. I constantly rebuy them. I buy like two pairs at once and just kind of cycle the ones that I've worn to death out. And like I said, I wear leggings every single day so they get quite the beady and they last for a while. Next are these. Now these are slightly embarrassing because I feel like these are like the ultimate mom jean. I mean they're like pull-on pants. <laughs> they're pull-on jeggings. They have an elastic waist. There's no button. 
So if anybody actually saw me, like if I lifted, if I was wearing like a crop top with these, I think I'd be a little bit embarrassed because they're like the ultimate mom pants. But they're so freaking comfortable. These are from Jordash. Now, I did buy these a while ago. I want to say I bought them last year, but I did just check and they still have them online as well as other different styles and different um, colors. So that's kind of nice. They add more variety. I probably will get another pair. Now, these are in the size 16P, 16 petite. I have short little chubby legs. Um, and these work really well for my leg length. So if you have shorter legs, then I definitely recommend the petite. Um, but they do also have like 16 wide and stuff like that and on up. Um, they also have them in straight sizes too. These are just the dark wash ones. I think they have light wash. I saw that they had like an olive green pair, which I may get. Um, pink, white, black. I mean, they have an everything. So I just wore these today and they're dirty. So if you see spots on them, pardon me. You wouldn't be my video if it wasn't, you know, actually halfway terrible. <laughs> anyway, so I love these, super stretchy. Um, these are actually really nice too because I've worn them quite a bit and they don't have, like, they're not falling apart in the seams of the legs yet and there's no, like, balling up, you know, the chub rub. That hasn't happened. So I really like these. I like the quality of them. They're inexpensive. I want to say they're under $15, which is extremely nice. Um, and they look nice on. They don't look like fake jeans even though they are fake jeans they look like I'm wearing jeans so um, it doesn't have the denim like look it's a bit more like a twill pant it's like more smooth but they still look really nice they look really pretty with like nicer tops if you kind of want to dress up to go out at night or something you wouldn't know and you'd be comfortable and you're not dealing with buttons and zippers they're just pull on and I love them a lot these next items are more casual tops um, like I said, I kind of do my own work from home. I run my own home daycare. My mom and I used to do it together before she got diagnosed with cancer, so it's now just me. Um, and I like to be comfortable. We both used to wear leggings all the time. I still wear leggings all the time. I like comfortable, easy tops, mom clothes. So as much as I get those cute things I like to show you, I love those things, but I don't wear them very often because I don't have places to wear them to. And I think the moms who drop their kids off would be a little uncomfortable if they showed up and I'm in like this mesh crop top, you know? It's not where you wanna leave your kids with. So um, comfortable t-shirt type of vibe is what I go for on the day to day. So the first thing I have is this. It's from a brand called Eye Candy. It's just a red, like a bright tomato-y red. Didn't think it was gonna be so bright um, t-shirt. And it has the cutout with the kind of like choker neck. Um, this isn't my favorite to be honest with you. This isn't something that I would repurchase and I know that they have them in different colors I believe so it's not something I would get again. I just don't feel like it's the best. It's not super flattering. I don't know what it about it it, it is. Um, I will say that the neck hole is like extremely extremely constricting and it like chokes me um, which ain't super cute but um, I don't know. I just, I just don't love it. So if this is something you see I would skip this, but there is another like cutout choker tee that I do really, really love, but this is just not this one. So if you do see this one, I would skip out on it. That's just my opinion. Now the next thing is No Boundaries, which is something I've always known about Walmart. It's like they've always carried this brand ever since I was a kid. Now No, Brown, no Boundaries is typically sold in store, whereas I don't think eye candy is. So certain things are sold online, certain things are sold in store, but I know No Boundaries is. Um, and it's just this olive green t-shirt. It has like the little extra straps right here. Um, I love this thing. You've seen this in a video, I believe, before. It's, it's a little clinging. I think I shrunk it a little bit too much. So it's a little clinging, but it's still freaking comfortable. It works really well. This is an extra large 1517. So it's considered the junior brand and I definitely agree with it being like junior plus or whatever. It's more on the small side. So it's cut a bit smaller. Um, it's a little bit more tight fitting. So if that's not your vibe, then I would stay away from no boundaries. They are definitely very true to the junior kind of cut. Um, but it's still cute, still comfortable. I like it. Wear it to work super inexpensive. I want to say this was like $4 and they do have it in other colors, but I find that they're right. right. The next thing is one of my newer purchases, not the most new, but it's newer. You guys have also seen this in a video and I love this thing. This is my Faded Glory. Now Faded Glory, I don't think is catered to just uh, juniors. Um, so it is a bit not, I wouldn't say a bigger cut, but it's just more standard. I feel like it's not cut smaller. 
Um, and this is basically an oversized kind of flannel. It's not actual flannel, but it's a plaid kind of button down. I think you guys saw this in my fall decorate with me video. It's so freaking, it's showing up a bit more Americana on uh, camera. It's not as vibrant in person. It's a little bit more toned down, but it's so comfortable. I think it's so cute. It's so easy to pair with leggings and boots. Um, it's definitely a bit more oversized, I would say. I got this in an a 1X, so it's a 16, um, and I agree with it being a bit, it's a bit more, it's a bit baggy, but it's comfortable, and I think it looks really cute on no matter what. Um, I really, really love this top, so definitely recommend this, and I want to say they had it in different colors. I think they did, but I really, really love this color. So cute. Now, shopping at Walmart, surprisingly, there's been very few misses over the couple of years that I've shopped there. Everything that has been misses, I pretty much just take back without a problem. Um, I think I, like a handful of times, have I ever had to take anything back. I normally really like everything, and everything is pretty true to the size that I ordered. So, um, but this item, I feel like is kind of a miss, but I kind of like it. I just never knew what to do if I liked it or didn't, so I just kept it. <laughs> but it's this really pretty high neck lacy green top. I love the high neck. I think it looks so pretty. Um, I like the green color. I like green a lot. Um, I think it's so nice for fall. I think this will be cute maybe like layered under a jacket or something because I don't know the cut's just kind of off for me. Um, this is a no boundaries. I don't necessarily feel like it's cut too small but it's still I definitely agree with it being more on like the junior size size range. Um, this was, I think technically still in the straight size. It's an XXL. So yeah, it's still the straight size. Um, but I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> uh, it just, like I said, has that really pretty high lacy, um, front, some flutter sleeves and the back has like another lace panel. It's a little bit different than the front, which is actually kind of nice. A little change up. Um, and then it just kind of flows out to the bottom. So it's cute. I just don't love it. I, I'm trying to figure out how to make it work. I think maybe just under a jacket will be fine. Uh, this next thing though is another No Boundaries top. Once again, this is an XXL. Um, I find that it's funny, it's like certain things work really well that are better. They could technically be the same size, but they're better in straight sizes than they are in plus sizes, and it's flips flop sometimes, depending on the brand. I don't know if you guys have ever like had that. Um, you could get the exact same shirt and it's technically the same size, but it's cut a little bit differently because one's straight sizes, one's plus sizes, and I feel like that kind of happens with the no boundary stuff. Um, so, this is another no boundary shirt. This one I really like. I think it's super pretty. It's just a very um, basic kind of black. To me, this is like a going out shirt or just like a dressy kind of shirt. It's lacy, um, it has like a lace overlay, and the top kind of has a little bit of peek through to the like inlay to kind of, you know, for it's not completely see through. It doesn't go all the way up top, so it kind of lets your skin kind of peek out. It has spaghetti straps. Kind of like that razor back, higher back neckline also does the same thing where you have like a peek through of your skin. Um, and then it just is a complete lace overlay. But the bottom is what I really like about it. It has like a basically kind of like scallopy triangle bottom hem and it's like eyelash lace. So what I mean by that is that it has like all those like little mini almost like hairs. <laughs> They look like little hairs, little eyelashes that stick to the bottom, kind of hang out, fan out. I just think it looks super pretty. Um, I love this with a pair of jeans. It's cute. It's flowy. It doesn't cling. It kind of just skims over everything without looking boxy. I really like this. Now, the next top is something that I was wearing, I think, in my Rue 21 haul, my last one. Um, and it's this dress. This is by a brand called Derek Hart. Um... And this is also a 1X. Um, and I really like this dress. Now, I do believe they also had this in a different pattern, but I got this one. It has the very on-trend um, crisscross front. And it has that really pretty kind of wildflower 
pattern and print and then the sleeves are bell sleeves with a little bit of a pom-pom trim and it's just a swing dress it just goes out um, it looks really cute it's that really really soft fabric um, which can be kind of clingy so if you would like to use like static guard or something like this it may be helpful um, I do wear this with Spanx I just find it looks a little bit better because it is clingy um, but you don't have to if you don't want to but I really like this. I believe this was like $13 or something. Most of these clothes, nothing was ever over 20 if anything was ever over 15. I think everything was under $15. Besides maybe the pants. But I didn't I say those were like $14.88 or something? Yeah, so those were under $15 too. Um, next, this is something that is probably in clearance now, but I do find that they bring it out every single summer. And it's also by Faded Glory. It looks like this. Now this is something that is better in the plus size than it is in the straight size, even though they're technically the same size. So this is a 1X, um, a size 16, and it's just basically this kind of crepey tank top. Now they come out with tons of colors, tons of prints. I ordered this size in a straight size in a 16, and it was huge. It was so big, it just did not look good. I ordered it in the plus size. It looked a million times better, even though it's technically supposed to be the same size. I don't know, things like that are so weird. Anyway, so this was just in like kind of a taupey color. Um, is that? No, it's a pocket, okay. <laughs> um, this has been hanging in my closet and somehow it's still super wrinkly. Um, it just looks really cute layered. It has, it looks cute with like a little cami layered underneath with a card I can get on top of it and a necklace. This is just a basic thing that I think would look good with anything. It's something that layers really well. You could tuck this into a skirt. Like it's just one of those like basic staple things. It's just easy. You don't have to think too much about if you want to bring more of like a fun thing to the pants you're wearing or the skirt or the cardigan, whatever. This is just kind of like a nice little basic thing. Um, this was like $6 if that. And like I said, it's probably on clearance right now, but they do bring this out every summer. But I think it's really nice and layerable. Okay, so this shirt was the other cutout shirt I was talking about. And this is also something that you guys saw before. This was in my first Route 21 haul video. And it is a black cutout neck like that. Um, just kind of like swing its shark bite at the end tank. This thing looks so good on. I don't know how many compliments I receive in this shirt. Everybody seems to really like it. It looks so good on your figure. It just makes you feel like a bad A. Um, I don't, it's just so good. <laughs> I love this shirt. It's just so simple. And I just put it with some jeans and some black booties and it looks so nice. Um, I really like this top. So and it's super comfortable, really breathable, easy to layer. I love it. This is by a brand called French Laundry. And I actually have another shirt that I really love from them that's also from Walmart and it's like a light dusty rosy pink color that's lace up in the front but for the life of me I can't find it and that was one of my favorites that I wanted to show you but I really like the brand French Laundry from Walmart so I think it's definitely trustworthy I've now I think uh, you know I guess this is I only have two pieces from them but both pieces have been great so um love this so comfortable so cute I just think it looks really nice I think it looks good with my haircut I love it I love that top one of my very favorites. Now, all the rest of the things are really new purchases for me. So you're gonna see the tags on them and stuff like that. Um, these are all just very, like I just got all these, the rest of the stuff last week. So <laughs> um, it should still be available for you if you go online. Now, this is a brand called Extra Touch. I don't know if this is a newer brand that they just brought to Walmart. I think it is, because I don't remember seeing it before. Um, and the two th I got two things from them, one thing I really love and one thing I really don't love. Um, so this is the first thing that I do really like. This is just a basic knit sweater, cardigan. Um, I love cardigans, obviously, for the fall and winter. It looks, it looks really nice, it, they're super cozy. And once again, I live in Texas, and so it's not super, super cold here. It never gets super cold here, although I will say, that it was, it's been a little chilly. It's been a little chilly for a little bit. And I've been loving it. I'm not a fraud by wearing this sweater. It's, I'm obsessed. By the way, this sweater is from JCPenney's, if you were wondering. Um, they have some really cute stuff right now. So if you haven't been to JCPenney's in a while, don't count them out. They got some cute stuff and like a lot of really good sales. So this thing is so gosh darn cute. I love it. Anyway, um, 
like I said. So this is just a basic kind of cranberry. It's a bit more on the purple side in person than it's coming off on camera. It looks a bit more oxblood on camera, but in person there's a bit more of a purple hue to it. Super comfortable, really, really pretty. Um, it just has, I mean, it's just basic. But I like the way that the kind of front hangs. It kind of has like almost like a scallopy bat wing like curve to it on the body and I think that looks really nice. It's a bit heavier so it's a thicker cardigan. It's not super lightweight so if you want a lighter weight cardigan this isn't it but if you want something that you don't have to wear a jacket with then I think this would be nice. Um, this is the one thing that I really didn't love. Now it's really pretty just want to hold it but on the body I just don't think it does anything for me. One the color washes me out. I want to wear this color so badly because it's so pretty and it's so on trend, but if you're super pale, it just makes you look naked. So this can't wear it. Um, and basically it's just a v-neck chunky sweater and it has like a band banded at the bottom, but it's kind of slit on the sides. I wish the slits were a little bit higher on the sides. I feel like it would give a little bit more shape. For whatever reason, the it's supposed to be cold shoulder, but I feel like it completely misses the shoulder and just shows like the fattest part of your arm, which is not cute. Um, it does have like a cabled knit kind of vibe down the sleeve, but it's just not super cute. I think the V-neck part of it, the actual like collar line is super thick. It could be a bit more dainty. It's a bit boxy. I just don't love anything about this. I did get this in a 1X. I don't know if it would have been better if I just got it really big. But for whatever reason, like this sweater looks nice and pretty and dainty, even though it's kind of big and chunky, this just does not. So that is going back. All right, we're getting to the end, guys. Okay, so another just super casual, easy shirt. Now this is the one that's by Extra Touch. This is super comfortable, have it in different colors, probably gonna get all the rest of the colors. It's very similar to that No Boundaries one, but I may like it a bit more. It's not as clingy, even though it's that same fabric. So we'll see how it is when I wash it. It has that same kind of strappy neckline. And, but the reason I do like this, and this is something good if you guys are in school and you have a dress code, and you try to be more modest. Um, it doesn't, it completely stops like right where your cleavage is, so it doesn't show a lot of the boobies. So if that's something that you need to be more aware of, or you would like to be a bit more modest or whatever, this is a good shirt for you. Um, I love the jade tone of it. They had another, another, a number of other colors, but I really, I don't have anything like this color. So I was actually really happy when I got it in because I thought it was going to be more teal. And I like this color better. It's more of a jade, emeraldy, kind of pretty green. Um, and then the back just kind of has that pretty cutout to add a little bit of something that kind of shows your skin. It's really pretty. Nice peekaboo there. Uh, I liked this. I think this was like $6 or something. Um, it's really pretty. It's nice and flowy. doesn't cling. This is perfect for me. This is my mom wardrobe. And like under that really pretty cardigan, there we go. Fall outfit. Check for moms. All out for for moms. Okay, the last two items were on clearance, and they are not some or they are not fall. They're summer, but I couldn't resist them, and I figured you can put a cardigan over them. And for some places, it's still really warm. It's been a warm fall, unfortunately, because global warming is a jerk, and we're not taking care of our planet, and so we gotta dread the long summers and the heated wind falls and winters. But whatever. Anyway. Um, this is, what is this by? This is also by No Boundaries. This is very flowy. I don't feel like this is something that fits really close to the body, unlike the other stuff. And I did get this in a six, size 16, um, but I really like it. So it has, it's just basically like a razorback tank top. The straps are braided and they come together in the back. I love this part of it. I think it looks so pretty on. And it basically just has a little skull is that a cow, bull, steer, cow skull, bull skull, steer, whatever, skull. Um, should know, I'm from Texas, right? Uh, the moon phases, and it has kind of like a metallic aztec -y print on the bottom of it. I don't really love the eye. I'm kind of freaked out by those things. Illuminati, not my vibe. Don't like to go into looking into too much into that stuff. I don't know, it just always freaks me out. Ever since I saw like some random video about like Katy Perry and Beyonce and all them like leading the Illuminati, I'm like, I don't like the all seeing eye. 
I, you know, I just buy into that hive. It's stupid. But anyway, I'm not a big fan of it. I just think it's kind of creepy. But I know a lot of people really like that. So if you like that, that's your thing. And it has it on it if you like it. But I just think it's cute. I think it's easy. It's lightweight for the hotter days. But I still can throw a cardigan on top of this and call it a day. I think it looks nice on. If you want a workout tank. It's great. And this last one. Because I'm super into tie-dye. And I didn't get anything tie-dye when this summer. I missed that whole entire like summer of tie-dye. So I got this one. <laughs> I love it. I just, it's so pretty to me in blue. It's just basically a really stretch, super stretchy, super comfy, soft, lightweight, swing tank. That's blue tie-dye. It has these buttons right here that are basically just fake, faux, non-working buttons, but just look cute. Um, I think this looks really pretty on. I think this looks really pretty with a bandeau. I do think, though, this is the one that comes really low, like, in the back. So this isn't something that you could just wear your regular old bra with. It's more of a bandeau bralette type of vibe, which is what I would wear, wear with it anyway. But if you wanted to wear a bra with it, you definitely... Unless you want to shine a bra off. I mean, you do you. I don't know your life. Um, but I wouldn't. Is all I'm saying. But once again, could be layered with the cardigan. I feel like it may be summery print, but who doesn't like tie dye? You know, in the fall, in the winter, it just gets people happy, right? You may hate tie dye, and I'm sorry. I don't know why. But you, you know. Anyway, this was one X. This is also from a brand called Unite. No, American High. Never heard of this one before. Looks super fancy though, right? Right? Like, doesn't this tag look like very fancy to me? I don't know. I was like, man. Man, Walmart, this is fancy. Uh, super expensive though. I really like it. Comfortable. You know, I keep saying you know. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going on a trip this next week. And we are going to Arizona for my grandmother's memorial. And it's the girl's first plane ride. And I want something comfortable, so I'm probably going to wear one of those cardigans because I'll probably get overheated because I'll be stressing out and having anxiety, and those will be great. So if you're going anywhere, I think those are great plain outfits. <laughs> okay. Last item. What also I was going to say about that was that I think I'm going to do a vlog, mostly because from my own memories, um, I want to remember their first plane trip and everything, and I think it would be nice to have like some memories of saying goodbye to my grandmother and stuff like that. Um, so I think I'm going to make my next video be a vlog. And I hope you guys are excited for that. I love watching vlogs. You guys will get to know us a little bit better and I think it'll be nice. So that's gonna be our next, our next video. Excuse me. Um, next and last thing is I bought a pair of shoes. These are so dang comfortable. Um, these are from Faded Glory. I feel like Faded Glory just kills it. They just kill it. Uh, I thought that these would be kind of stiff and kill me because I never broke them in. I just wore them all day. They are so comfortable, so flexible, so bendy. I love these shoes. They're just basically little lace-up cute shoes. I believe that they had them in different colors. I got them in a taupey color because I don't have anything like this and I think this matches so many things. Perfect for the fall, if you don't want to wear boots, if you're not a boot person, or if it's too warm to wear boots, but you still kind of want like a fall vibe, I think these are great. They're cute, there were, I think, once again, I think they were under like $15, I want to say they were $14, maybe $13, and I really, really like them. They're comfortable, they fit nicely, um, and I feel like if you had a wider foot, these would expand really nicely, because they kind of have like a nice stretch to them. Um, and they're not too structured. Like I said, they're like really bendy and flexible. So, yes. So, I hope this video just showed you if you have never bought anything from Walmart in your life, if you've been kind of weary of it, or if it's like, hey, I'm looking for some cheap, cute things, go check out Walmart. Basics, man, you can get basics. I buy so many things for my daughters there. Like clothes wise they're just basics because they're so inexpensive and I would rather spend three dollars on a pair of denim leggings that look the exact same that I would spend at Baby Gap and spend like twelve dollars and then just grow out of it in like two months. So if you have kids it's another place great place to buy basics. Um, but I hope that you found some good things and I hope that you're willing to kind of go and browse the website or 
go to the store. Um, we, they also do two-day shipping now, supposedly similar to Amazon. I will say that I feel like they have been getting faster than they were in the past. It used to say two-day shipping and it still wouldn't get to me for like five to seven days. But when I ordered this stuff, I really felt like it did get, get to me within like two to three days. So they are getting faster with that. So two-day shipping is pretty great. Um, and free shipping, two-day free shipping is what I meant to say. With, I think you have to spend like $25 or $35. So that's awesome if you like stuff like that that's fast. Um, I, do, I will say that I feel like it does get you faster than like if you ordered from like Forever 21 or something. So um, yeah, I hope that was an enjoyable video for you. Please leave comments down below on any other stores that you would like me to check out, do hauls from. If you want me to do inside the dressing room, I'd be up to that. I was thinking of doing like inside the dressing room to Kohl's or maybe to JCPenney's because I just talked about JCPenney's. But whatever you would like to see that is that stuff related or if you don't want to see plus size stuff anymore and you want to see something different. I don't know what your life is, what you want to see, you just put it down below. And I will try to get around to it and film that for you because this channel is dedicated to you guys. Like, I want to converse and learn and explore just, you know, what you guys want. So, um, like I said, the next video will probably be, probably be a vlog. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do a Halloween-themed video. I was planning on it, and then time just got away, and those things need prep. So... We'll see if that happens too. If not, I'll probably do like a Halloween get ready with me slash vlog slash a whole big fiasco. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.